So folks, Kundalini rising, Kundalini awakening, has it got a certain type of clothing? Do you have to wear certain clothes? Do you have to look a certain way when you've experienced a Kundalini awakening or Kundalini rising? Do you have to have gone through postures and mudras? Do you even have to know what mudras are? What if what if you, you're, you're somebody who is not even in part of that tradition? Well, what happens? Does that mean that you can't experience a Kundalini awakening, Kundalini rising? Are you one of those people who, because you don't qualify and you've not done 12 years of Hatha Yoga or you've not gone through all of these things or a guru, tradition or you haven't received initiation does that mean that oh well either that you've not had a kundalini awakening right or you're just off your trolley you don't know what you're talking about folks well you see that kind of conversation is born of ignorance now if you've truly awoken then you know there are no limits and there are no exceptions in the way that anyone before you has perceived this phenomena, you can call it, or this truth, yeah? You too will perceive it in your way. And it is not dependent. Is Kundalini dependent on the shape of you, how thin you are, how fat you are, what color you are, how much lipstick you have on, your eyeliner, whether you've got long hair, shaved head, or whether you have a guru, whether you are wearing, you know, I mean, Rudraksh, whether you're wearing a sandalwood, whether you're wearing Tulsi, whether you're eating vegetables, dairy, or you're slaughtering animals and eating them, is Kundalini really dependent on all that? Yeah? Kundalini sits right at the top of the entire food chain. Kundalini envelops it all. Kundalini is it all. Everything that you see, the life cycles, that you see around us are all in Kundalini, contained in it. They are contained in it. So if there's a life form outside of you, you contain it. When you understand what you see outside is what you are on the inside, what you see on the outside as being apart from you is a part of you. And we are all in this life cycle. It doesn't matter. Kundalini is not interested in what you're wearing, where you're sitting. Are you sitting in a cave meditating in the Himalayas? Are you sitting at your house? Are you at a party? Are you at a rave party? Are you experiencing experiences with ayahuasca, plant medicine? Yeah. Are you stoned with whatever, marijuana? Yeah. Or have you had a deeply, deeply sexual experience where you actually felt I've experienced God? Yeah. Or have you been touched by the power beyond words by either someone or going to a place? Does it always have to be, oh, you know, it's got to be done in this way. There's got to be this. No, folks. And if you go behind the letter of yoga, you go behind it. You go behind even the word Kundalini. Yeah. And you connect with what came before the word, what came before the language, what came before the person. You connect with that. You've connected with everything. That's what Kundalini is. It connects you to what is behind the veil of illusion, to what is behind. Yeah. If you can, for example, only perceive me as this is my hair, this is what I'm wearing, I, I've got this ring and that ring or this and that and the other, then that's all you can perceive. When you're open and you've got 
that high level of sensitivity and receptivity your perception can go well beyond the makeup the setup the facade it is when we can't go that we'll go for the obvious oh i shave my head i mean you can go to my website for example and you can go and have a look at that aspect of me when it was at that time and yes i didn't have any hair on my head that was a completely different phase and yes i was full of rudraksha at that time yes that was a, you know it was different then so you go through this you must go through a shedding and then you choose at will how you want to project yourself out there as long as you are in touch with what is and there is nothing that is not it and it is not dependent folks you don't have to qualify for an awakening you don't have to go through an exam you don't have to go through a test please all that is whether you want to call it god universe divine and wherever we are from doesn't operate from the petty human ego or mind it doesn't operate from that it operates from that and all that is it operates from that when it wants to finitize its infinity by will by will we finitize we limit our experience at will because we are always aware of what we are doing when we are doing it from when we were just that spark just that essence and this is where the whole theory about soul contracts or we chose to do this we chose our parents we are always aware you may not be physically aware through your mind and that's why we say meditate but when you shut that all down or rather when you open yourself to the level at which you are sitting in your full awareness then you will see and realize you say ah it was me all along making this choice it was me all along who decided that i'm going to finitize myself into an ant into a donkey into a dog into this woman into this man yeah and whatever else that has happened so we are in a leela we in a divine sport folks when you go through your kundalini you mean you genuinely gone through one no explanation needed do not dim your experience in the light of someone else's experience that you may consider on a pedestal don't put any one on a pedestal other than your own direct experiences not your projections your direct experience because when you do then there's a fear i haven't reached that mark i'm not feeling all of this i am not feeling all that is on that book or that scripture or what that guru said so surely it can't be that right maybe you are experiencing something else that's not been written documented does it have to be does it have to be an experience that has been had before no stop looking for a yardstick against which to compare your experience because your experience is real what is not real is when your experience is still under the behest of the veil of illusion and that veil of illusion is that i am this body and nothing else and therefore i'm also the fear and the mind associated with this body if you're in that then yes you're still going to be going through that so much love happy awakening because it's your awakening to yourself